Suspension, suspension, suspension. You ask us, do I need a suspension? We say, yes, you do. And I will explain you why. This is a bicycle wheel. Every bicycle has two, your tricycle has three. You have much better chance to hit an obstacle, a pothole, a speed bump. This wheel doesn't give you any suspension. That's why they invented tires and tubes. That will provide you with some suspension. But is it enough? If you have a skinny, high-pressure tire, you will have some amount of suspension. If you want to increase that suspension amount, you can opt for wider, bulkier, knobby tires. But is that enough? Often not. The most effective way on a recumbent to isolate yourself from the road is the rear suspension. If you have no suspension in the back, then every roughness of the road is transferred directly to your body. The, the rear suspension is relatively simple. It consists of a suspension element and the rear swing arm. This way, any bump, any hole you hit will be isolated from your body. Okay, I have a rear suspension. I sorted it out. It's comfortable, but it's not all about comfort. Sometimes you will hit an obstacle. Let's say this is an obstacle, a typical one. Speed bump or a rock or a piece of brick, something on the road. What happens with your front wheel? It tries to go over the obstacle and then it attempts to go the easier way. But if it's a rigid frame and no suspension, then it will try to go the easiest possible way and change the direction of the travel. On this example, we saw that the wheels want to go their way and if you go fast enough, you can lose control over your tricycle and then bad things can happen. How can we avoid it? Well, with front suspension. Which suspension type should I choose? There are many options available, leaf springs, Elastomers, Macpherson Strut, or Double Wishbone. If you stick to the road, maybe some of these older types are enough. But if you want real performance under every condition, and often even the freshly paved road is not perfect, the Double Wishbone suspension is superior in this aspect because it allows you to go off-road if you want to. Let's see what happens when you hit an obstacle with your wheel. It's connected directly to the kingpin, which is connected to the frame. The kingpin is also connected to the handlebars and the steering elements. When you hit the obstacle, the wheel will try to push your trike upwards and as you see the suspension will compensate the stress and relieve the frame from the stresses. Also with a well-designed suspension system you will have no influence of what is happening on the ground on the wheel with your steering. This also allows you a much better control of your trike. It will have constant grip 
allowing you to stop. It will not try to push you sideways or even tip you, so you can comfortably ride over any obstacle without any risk of getting injured or at least ashamed. This is our wild one in parts before assembly. Each and every part is carefully designed over a period of long years of design, testing, tweaking, improving, modifying, and each and every part is handmade. In the house, we powder coat each and every part in our house, we hand build the wheels and adjust all the parts for a specific customer as required. In our last video, I was showing you some of the parts on the Wild One. This time, you can see it much better. This is the main frame, the double wishbones, the suspension elements, the kingpin, the center part of the steering, the handlebar, the rear stay, the rear end of this frame, and finally, the boom. Each and every part that goes into a wild one is handcrafted very precisely to match all the rest of the parts. Once assembled, you have to get a perfect machine, the best available on the market. Wild comes in many flavors. Next time we will talk about the options you have with the wheel size change, the different configurations and the possibilities. What can you order to suit you best?